What is up, YouTubers? Maybe I didn't get that cut off this time. Usually I go way too early. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be a mystery to me. Anyways, we're back with another episode of FPV on the Cheap, and this week is a little bit different. Because of the Chinese New Year not too long ago, none of my stuff that I ordered is going to be here in time. Something I have received, though, in time for this week is a receiver. It is the Flysky uh, A8S. Now, if you don't know, uh, I fly with the Turnigy Evolution transmitter. I don't need a million different switches. I know some people go, oh, when they hear people say they use that transmitter. But it's really not that bad. But one drawback that I don't like about that transmitter is that the receivers for it from Turnigy are stinking huge. Um, and, you know, I, I don't do very far distance flying. I'm in a field, you know, I stay near myself, and I just do loop-de-loops and flips and rolls and all that. So I don't need something super high-tech. So what I've heard is this bad boy's compatible. It's a little bit more expensive than our normal FPV on the cheap. I believe I paid... Uh, I want to say $12, but I got it from the U.S. source. If you're willing to get it from China, I think it's under $10. So just be forewarned before we get too deep into the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the Franken Quad, and uh, I'll rip out the old one. I'll come back and show you what that old one is like uh, comparatively, and then I'll install this guy. And it's only got one antenna, but it's so tiny. I'm hoping it's really going to work well, and I hope I am actually able to bind it to my uh, Evolution because I like that controller, and it will be nice to have a different option besides just the giant Turnigy ones. So, you know, after the break, I'll be showing you those different, uh, the two different ones side by side to show you the size difference, and then uh, after I install it, hopefully we'll be out in the field and I can kind of. Kind of do a range test of sorts I'll let you know how far usually I can get away with flying one of these guys and see if it's gonna be worth it to invest changing all of my receivers to these little guys alright let's get back to it right after the break All right, we're back and I've got the Franken quad ripped apart so now it's time for the size comparison I don't expect these guys to compete with each other in range Mostly because the Turnigy, uh, IAC something rather, I don't know, the, the Turnigy one is larger and has two antenna, whereas this one is very small and has one small antenna. But here we go. Here's the size comparison, guys. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Hopefully, this will make quite a difference in weight and also just in general being able to make tighter, smaller builds. Now, the Franken Quad is huge. It's got all kinds of room in there. But on some of my other builds, it would be really nice to have a much, much smaller receiver. As long as it works pretty decently, I don't care. I'll switch them out. So after I get this bad boy installed, we're going to cut out to the field, and I'll give you my thoughts on how it performs. We're only going to be able to go bait off of uh, what I've experienced I'm not going to sit there and fly, you know, do a full-on range test, but uh, I'll be able to give you at least a decent representation of what I think the quality of this tiny guy right here is. All right, remember, it's the Fly Sky FS-A8S, whatever that means. Out in the field in 3, 2, 1, bam! What's going on, YouTubers? We're finally out in the field to test my brand new receiver for the Fly Sky uh, style receiver. It's on the Franken Quad right now. You guys are attached to the Franken Quad. And what I'm going to do is I'm at the biggest field I have here in my little town. And I'm going to see, do a little bit of a range test. Now, when I normally fly with my Turnigy receiver, I can make it all the way over to those trees, no problem. So that's going to be kind of the test. It's a big field. I really don't need to go that far. So we're going to see if it makes it there without any dropouts or any kind of problems. And that'll be the test. And they'll tell you whether or not it's worth buying this receiver. So look forward to some flying footage because it's finally nice enough to fly, guys. All right, here we go.
I hope you enjoyed the flying, just a bunch of power loops, but I think that did pretty good. So it made it all the way out to those trees. I didn't experience any sort of latency or lag, uh, none more so than usual. And I think it's a good buy, you guys. It's a little bit more expensive than my normal FPV on the cheap, but because I've had some issues recently getting things from China, um, that's the, the only thing I have left in the bag for right now. So hopefully something gets here before next week. But uh, make sure you join me next week for FPV on the cheap, and we'll see if I actually get anything. All right, guys. Peace out. Happy flying. Bye.